Good Sunday afternoon, everyone. My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Um, as I said, I am a demonstrator. If you see something you want and you don't have a demonstrator, there is a link below um, for, for my website. If you'd like to order something, I'd truly be honored to be your, web, your website. Oh my gosh, your demonstrator. Whew. You would think I haven't slept, but I have. Um, and I've had two cups of coffee. Maybe that's it. Anyway, um, so I hope you all had a great Mother's Day. If you're a mother's mother last week, um, I was spoiled and it was fantastic. So I'm excited, but I'm excited to be back, um, back today. So, um, this actually morphed, and I kind of told my husband that this is my my process when I'm making cards. You know, I see cards all the time on the internet, and I'll see things, and I'll I'll take a picture of it. Um, but I don't I don't want to copy anything completely, right? I don't ever want to do that. I want it to be mine. So I kind of look at an idea. I take a picture of it, but I usually don't go back and look at the picture until after I've created the card. So this is kind of how this happened. So a couple weeks ago, or for a while now, I've been seeing people make bubbles, and I thought that was so cool. And um, I didn't watch the video because I wanted to come up with my own little t twist on it. So I did, it looked nothing like bubbles. I'm just gonna tell you 100%, we are not making bubbles today. But, um, I did, and I'm using reinkers and water, and I had a bunch of reinkers left, so I was like, well, I gotta do something with those. So then, um, I really wanted to use the Earthen Textures um, bundle, which I absolutely love. I just got it on Thursday in the middle of Stamp Club. I had them up here, and I was like, oh, we're gonna unbox, so that was part of what I did, um, but I digress. Um, so I wanted to use that, too. So. We're making two completely different cards um, using really one technique. So I kind of want you to see how that's going to go. Now, bear in mind, anytime you're using reinkers and water and things like that, no two are ever going to be the same. So am I guaranteed that this is going to come out like the last one? Absolutely not. So I'm just going to tell you that right now so that you uh, understand. It could not look like that. We will see. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Okie dokie. Here's this. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I did first. So again, these don't look like bubbles, but I just really liked the effect. So I did this. Okay. So these are, these are some of the ones I did it on. Okay. And then I took them and then this, this is the card I ended up making. And I use stylish shapes to make this. And then this is um, a new set, um, but I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, hold on. Uh, circle sayings, yep, I knew it was circles. So here's circle sayings. I use the happy birthday in this set to make this, okay? Now, for the earthen textures, here is that stamp set, okay? And then here are the dies. The dies cut out all of this, plus it has a few others in there. I think this is really cool. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but something, stay tuned. Okay, so here is the card that I made for this. So here is this card, which I really, really liked. Very clean and kind of simple. To me, look, if you look at these two cards, we're looking at the same colors, but whoa. How different is that? <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how I did this. And then we're going to see, and then I'm going to show you how it kind of morphed into this right here. Okay. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a clear block and a piece of watercolor paper. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to start with my reinkers. I'm going to start with Coastal Cabana which, ooh, I was glad this did not retire. You know how I love it. All right, so I'm gonna start with that one. Then I'm gonna do some gorgeous grape. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna do melon mambo next. Okay, I like that. 
and I'm gonna do some Granny Apple Green. And this Earthen Textures has some beautiful paper to go with it, but these colors are not in it. So, but anyway, I, I wanted to do something different. All right, so I'm gonna add a little more Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna add some here and just there. Okay, so there's that. There's this. And I'm gonna spritz it with some water, but I'm also gonna spritz my paper. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to make the circles. I just went to my pantry and found three glasses that had different size circles. I have this ball jar, this mason little mason jar. I have this little thing that says TW, my husband's name, and it's that big. I don't know if I, oh, well, that's okay. It doesn't matter if it has water. So I'm going to show you the different sizes. And then the last one I'm going to do, and you can, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to pull this up a bit. The last one I used was a champagne flute. <laughs> so it was the smallest of the three. So you can kind of see where I've got three different sizes. So that's what I've got. That's what I'm using for these circles, okay? Let's move that here. All right, and this got a little wet, but that's okay because we're gonna wet it down anyway. So I'm gonna use my Stampin' Spritzer and I'm gonna spritz my paper because I want my paper to be wet because I want it to bleed. I want, I love that look, okay? And this is watercolor 100 paper, the fluid watercolor paper that you can get right like that. I should buy this in droves. Now I'm gonna spritz this, okay? And I'm gonna give it a good spritz because I want that those colors to bleed, okay? And I think the more I spritz it, the better it gets. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the largest and I'm just gonna kinda go like that. All right, so then I've got colors here and I'm just gonna go like that and look how that bleeds. <gasps> Isn't that cool? Oh, I just love it. I think it's so cool. And I'm gonna do that one there. And then I'm gonna kinda take this and I'm gonna do another one right there. And there you go, look at that bleeding. And if you think your watercolor paper is dry, if you've got a little place that you think is too dry, like I think this might be dry, I'm gonna add some more water, okay? Now I'm gonna go with my middle one, the TW. Oh, that's funny, because it kinda had a, and I'm gonna overlap these a bit, because I wanna, okay. Ooh, that kinda dropped, but I'm okay with it, I liked it. I think that's neat. All right, and I'm gonna go right like that. Ooh, look at those deep. So these colors start to blend as you do it, the purple in this one. And quite honestly, in my opinion, they become very burst. So um, that's kind of why I, um, I, I used very burst. I didn't even end up using those the colors on there. So I'm gonna do that there. And I'm gonna do this here. And I'm gonna do, I need some more blue. So I'm gonna do that right like that. Okay, so that's what I did on this one, okay? So you can kind of see it's different. I wanted to add that. This one has a lot more of the, um, um, the, the pink and the purple. So this is totally different from what I got last time. And that's why I say, you're never gonna get two of the same things, okay? Everything's gonna always look different. But I'm gonna set this to the side because I obviously can't use it right this minute. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna scooch this over a bit. I'm gonna take this out and get a new one because this is kind of icky, okay? So we're gonna move that and I've got another one right here ready to go. And I'm gonna move this back and I might want to add just a tad more of the blue because you know how I like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, because I have all this. Oh, my goodness. This is what I saw, and I went, I cannot waste all that. That's just wasteful, and I can't I can't waste all that re-inker, right? So I'm going to spritz that again because I kind of added that blue. So what I did was I took this part of the Earthen Treasures, and I just kind of stamped it on here. I use this as a stamp pad. Now, granted, I'm going to stamp this off, okay? Because look, it's too wet, okay? That's too wet too, but I'm going to try the third time on here. And I like it, okay? I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to do it at a different place. I kind of do here, okay? 
and then I'm gonna stamp it off, kind of see what it looks like, and then I'm gonna stamp it on here. <gasps> that saved myself. I did save myself, I think. Okay, totally different looks, right? And I think this is cool. I really love this. So I'm gonna do one more just to kind of, you know, see what I like the best because I have plenty of room on my, um, gosh, I am like sticky. No, I don't think that's gonna fit. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get, let me grab another piece of vanilla so that I can do one more. Oh goodness, I really wanted to do one more. So let me add one more piece. Hold on, hold your phone. This one I'll end up liking the least because I've waited, but we'll see. We'll see what happens because it's been on there a minute, a hot minute. Okay, we'll do it right here. Okay. Oh, see, I don't like that one. I know I wouldn't like it. I actually like this one the best. I really think this one is gorgeous, and this is the one I really, really want to use. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way because I know me. I will stick something on that, and I just got it all over my table, which is fine. Who who cares, right? It's all good. Oh, I ruined it. Look what I did. I totally ruined that. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit again. We're gonna do this again. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my towel this time. Okay. I'm gonna bring this. I'm not gonna try moving this this time. I'm just gonna stamp it from over there because well, we just saw what I did, so. Okay, hold on. I am a hot mess today. All right, hot mess. So, let's try it again. All right, I'm gonna spritz a bit on there because I did, I did spill, obviously. So I'm gonna, I really love that one though. That makes me so sad. Okay, I'm gonna stamp off a couple of times because I know I've got quite a few on there. Oh, that's good. this is gonna be pretty. Yep, this is gonna be the money one. I know I'm off, but I'm gonna bring it over. Oh, look at that. I like that one. Oh, I really like that one. Let's do one more for good measure. Okay, stamp it off over here and I'm gonna stamp it on right here. And there you go, still, still like in this one. That's okay, that's okay. This is my money shot. Hmm, they're pretty similar. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with this one and I'm gonna die cut this one. And man, I really wanted to have not a messy table, but you know what? Oh goodness, I just totally stained my table. All right, I'm gonna be right. All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I am making a mess. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna die cut this, this right here. And if you, I'm gonna get my die cut machine. I've got my little, I'm just gonna use my little one today cause there's no need to do a great big one. And I'm gonna cut this so it fits. All right, here is my piece, okay. And then I'm gonna fit this right here, like this, okay? And then I'm gonna put it on top. I'm not using washi tape or anything. I'm, I am, um, hold on. Ah, oh, come on, go in there. There we go. It's all slippery. So I'm doing it on my thing. All right. Ooh. Low pops right there. Okay. So then I have this. I think that is so, so pretty. Oh, I love it. Now, I'm going to be honest. I actually kind of, um, I played with this, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Okay. I've got options because I really want, wasn't sure what I was going to like best on this. I have options for this. I am gonna stick with the Berry Burst paper. Look, look how this goes with this Berry Burst paper. Like I think 
the the two mixed together kind of create berry burst which tells me that i've got some other fun things to do with those colors because those three are going to go so good together all right let me go ahead and do this all right now i went ahead and did my die cutting because i knew um this might take a while so I am using our, I just got this Thursday night. This is the um, exposed brick embossing folder. I don't know if you can see it, but I think this is so pretty. I knew I had to have it as soon as I saw it. So here it is, exposed brick, all die cut. Isn't that neat? So that's gonna go on here, I know for sure. Now I'm gonna take this and I kind of wanted a curve to it. So I'm gonna take, and this is a really old Stampin' Up! Um, uh, exacto knife. I don't think that's what they're really called, but blade. Anyway, I'm going to kind of curve this on this. My take your pick tool, if you notice, it's um, bigger and littler, so I kind of wanted them the same size. So I'm going to do this. Now, just so you know, you won't have to have a separate one because in the new catalog, you can buy a set of three and one of them is an exacto knife that you can put onto here, which I think is really pretty awesome. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I just wanted this to be able to come up a little bit and I'm gonna, you know, oh, I wanted it like this. So just to give it a little bit of curve and then I'm gonna um, put the glue here. But what I need to decide are a couple of things, okay? I know I'm gonna use this ribbon. So I just saw this ribbon and absolutely loved it. So I know I'm gonna use this ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Let me get my snips. Oopsie. Okay. Now I wanna make sure that this doesn't unravel. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape, kinda of like I have it on the end, just like that. Um, because I don't want that to unravel and keep going or anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down. Cause I know I want, I know I want that. I'm just gonna leave that on there. Doesn't hurt it, it's already there. So I'm gonna add a piece of tape to this way. So I'm gonna tape that down and I'm gonna tape this down. Okay, I love this ribbon. And now this is a whole suite where this ribbon comes with the suite. So that, that's something I want you to, to keep in mind. Now, so I have this. Now, in my original card, which is right here, I used this new um, pebbled, um, oh, it starts with a P, but I can't remember what it was. Hold on. Brand new in color. Pebbled. Oh, I gotta look at it. I'm so sorry. What is it? It is Pebbled Path right here. And I like this because it's a it's a brown gray. It's kind of a grayish in my opinion because it goes with um, beige. This is crumb cake. So what I could do is I made some I made a couple of things here. I did one where the background could be the pebbled, and the inside could be this, which I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna kind of see because I felt like maybe that was too dark. Maybe maybe there was too much darkness there. I don't know. So I'm gonna look at them, and that's just kind of how I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna look and see what I like. So I could do this, okay, with this, all right. And to me, quite honestly, that's a lot of light. Um, and I also made three, two different, well, three actually, different colors of um, these little palm things, okay. So I could do it like this, okay? So I'm just gonna, that's just kind of rough, right? This is rough. So I could do that. I also did, and that is um, shaded spruce. I also did them in Pretty Peacock because I didn't know if I would like that with this. So I have this option, which that's nice too, right? I like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna switch some things out I'm going to leave this as the background, and I'm going to put this as the foreground, which I'm going to have to cut because it doesn't, doesn't fit. But anyway, that as the foreground. And if I put this on here, and maybe these, 
That, I think, is what I like. I'm gonna do a little opposite, okay? And I think instead of using the green, I'm gonna add the pretty peacock. Why not? So I'm gonna trim this down a quarter of an inch. So let me do that. You think I was not prepared, but I really am. So I'm gonna move this to the side and I wanna put this on here before I do anything. So what I'm gonna do, move this out of the way. I'm gonna take my glue, my um, uh, Stampin', um, Stampin' Seal Plus. I'm gonna put a little across here, okay? And then I'm gonna also put it around here, but I'm only going about halfway, because I kind of, I don't know if you can see, I'm pulling that up and you can see that there's extra, but I'm gonna fold it over like this because I wanna be able to keep that curve. And this is the only way I could think of to do it. Now, last time somebody told me a brilliant thing to do and I was like, gosh, why didn't I think of that? Um, so you may have another brilliant idea and put it in the comments because y'all, I'm not perfect. So I'm just gonna pull this over. So basically I have the edges with the um, stamp and seal, okay? So I'm gonna pull that just like that. So then I can put this here. I'm gonna put it right down here. Ah. And then I can kind of just, I feel like I can give myself a little bit of dimension in this. And that's my goal, is to give it that just little bit of dimension because I just think it looks pretty okay now I am going to use these pretty peacock because I think this is this has got this brightness here of this color and I feel like that looks really good so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take my glue all right I'm gonna I'm gonna put the first one down all right now I'm gonna hold this here like this and I'm just taking my glue and I'm kind of barely, I just want the inside, okay? I don't want any of these to have any on it. I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna go down the middle, okay? I'm gonna do that with the second one, okay? And so that's a lot, probably got too much there. I might kiss these and have them share some glue. See, I just shared shared their glue. <laughs> so there was quite a bit on there. And so I'm just gonna use this and share the glue a little bit, okay? I'm gonna put one like this. And then I'm gonna put one. You gotta get in here, little guy. <laughs> he bent. <laughs> oh, come on, go down. All right, that is gonna go like that. So then I've got the three. But you see they're only glued in the middle. So when they dry, we're gonna pull them up a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna glue this onto here, okay? And I'm gonna use my Stampin' Steel for Stampin' Seal for that, okay? And, well, here we go. I love this pebbled path. I think it's gonna be one I use a lot. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my card and I'm gonna put this on here, okay? Gotta make sure I'm in the shot when I put it on, right? And I'm just doing this right here just like that. Now, oh, nope, nope, Amy, 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 you did a terrible job of that. So I'm gonna make sure that's at the end, the bottom of that, to go down like that. All right, so now I've got this. Now I went ahead, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. I actually had another one that I could use too. This is from the last set. Um, I'm gonna use the thank you for this one and um, I went ahead and stamped it. I stamped it in the green and the 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 blue because I wanted 
<laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna use. But what I do when I do these, I stamp them and then I cut them out and then I stick it on here. I don't measure these per se. This is two and this is two and a quarter. So I did measure this and I wanted it to be the length of this. So I wanted them to be one panel. Now I want my thank you to be right here. Okay, if I, or you could, you know what? I'm gonna put it down here this time. I do think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it right here. I like it there. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, but I'm gonna all, 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 la, 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 la. I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna use some pop dots. Ah, Stampin' Dimensionals. I don't know why I call them pop dots. All right, so let's put it down here today. I think I want it down here, and I, th I just think it needs to be popped up because I think that's important sometimes. Okay, so I've got this. Now I want to do the inside, and one of the things I really like about this set is it's got some really nice inside sentiment. So you are proof there's good in the world. You always know just what to say and do. Your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. I liked that. So I decided to go ahead with you are the proof there is good in this world. And I also wanted to use these little guys. So I'm gonna put them right here and the sentiment here, but I'm gonna use a pretty peacock, so I'm gonna do it with that. All right. So I'm gonna stamp that up here. And I'm just gonna do that here. I didn't use the whole stamp. You can see I just used a little bit. And then I'm going to stamp this right up here. Just because it's a little crooked, but you know what? It's all good. It's a handmade card. You know how I feel about that. You've made it. You've done it. Um, it's your card. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside. Oh, it is probably going to drive me crazy. You know what? It's a good thing there's two sides to this step thing because I am going to fix it. Um, yeah, I'm going to fix it. I just have to, all right. Much better, I feel better about that. Okay, let's do this again. Again, I'm gonna show you, I'm not using the whole stamp. You can see I'm not going from the top, but if you want to, you can, cause you know, it's your card. All right, yeah, that makes me happier, okay. So I'm gonna put that on the inside of this card, okay? And this is very burst. This is none of the colors that I used <laughs> in the thing, but it it worked to me. I felt like this worked better. So um, that was the crooked, this is crooked? That's crooked, okay. I can't even tell. There is that. And now I'm going to put this onto this like that. All right. I cannot tell you how much I love Pretty Peacock. I just think it is so pretty. So I may even like this card better because of the Pretty Peacock. But there is that. So I've got this card in two different colors, kind of two different ways. But we also did this, but we didn't do this. This I used the um, stylish shapes to do. I took the shapes and I put them all the circles, one inside the other, and I die cut them. So I had a whole bunch of different die cuts that you could use, okay? Um, I even did two sets. I thought I might make this card, but I don't think I'm going to because I think that'd be crazy. But I want to show you what this is looking like. So that's what this is looking like now. Um, again, a lot less blue. So I don't know that I would put as much blue unless I cut it there or something like that. So totally different every single time, um, obviously. You can see how I had different looks. I hope you like these cards. I'm gonna tell you, I, oh, oh, one more thing. I wanted to show you what I was gonna do. I forgot, this reminded me. So I glued only kind of down the center so that I can take my um, uh, blade 
and I can pull these up like that. Now, if you're gonna, um, if you're mailing this, obviously this might not work, but I just wanted the texture that this would give me. And I'm going all the way down to the bottom because you can pull these up as well, right? Just a little bit of extra oomph to kind of make them, in my opinion, sing just a little bit. And you can kind of do that. So that is, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can see how it kind of pulls up a little bit. And I just felt like I liked that dimension. Um, so that was kind of what I, that was my envision. And when you put it in an envelope, yes, it's gonna kind of go down a little bit, but I think it'll still kind of pop up. So that is that. If you wanted to add some dots here, you could certainly add a little pizzazz, but I was pretty happy with it just like this. All right, guys, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Um, and fantastic week. Again, you can find the link to my demo, my um, shop right below in the um, where it says more. It'll in the description. It'll bring everything I used today and links to my website. Um, if you want to join my team, all of those wonderful things. I hope you have a beautiful week. It is my last week with kids this week, so. I am looking forward to summer and um, I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.